There I am. Good morning, or good evening, or good afternoon. How is everyone doing? It's your friend Kayla here, and I'm going to be doing... <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's a little scratchy due to my year-long allergies. Um, a, another tutorial today. We're going to do a lifted eye look, but a sophisticated look. And the palette that I reach for today to use is the... Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Palette. I haven't used it in a while, so I decided, well, why not? It's a great palette, right? So, for those of you who have not seen it, look at that beautiful color story. The mattes swatch and apply to that lid like butter. They are beautiful. It, this palette, it's although it's a beautiful palette, it, I'm going to let you know now, for those of you who, either if you have it or if you plan on picking it up um at some at any, any point <laughs> there is kickback there's a bit of kickback so when you watch me what i will show you um when you like when i go to grab product onto my brush i'm gonna grab i'm not gonna sweep because that'll just kick up more kick up <laughs> but um we're gonna be using a few quite a few shades in here um, and I'm going to show you the brushes that we're going to be working with today. We have my rougher number 27 blending brush. We have my Rose and Ben Beauty uh, E29 blending brush. We have my R Rose and Ben Beauty E28 brush, which I like to use the side of. If I need a little more precision to wing it out, we're going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 brow and define brush to smoke out the little wing. Um, we're going to be using my Wayne Goss edit number 7 brush. For detail work, we're going to be using the Rosenbend Beauty E27 brush. To cut the crease, if I decide to, we're going to be using the Ruffer number 2 to apply the, the Shape Tape and Concealer by Tarte. And to apply one of the topper shimmer, well it's not really topper shimmer toppers. Um, shade. So we're going to be using the Ruffer number 21 because that's that's what this brush was made for. It's um, made with both synthetic fibers and natural goat hair as well. So we have those. I have my Sonia G Pencil Pro. And last but not least, we have my the my BK Beauty. 207 pencil blender I think that's what it's called it's the smallest little blending brush but it's really really great for small areas that you're trying to smoke out or look a little give that soft fluffy kind of a look so we have all the brushes that we need right here I already prepped my eyes with my Fenty Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer I think yep I always jumble my words when I'm trying to, when I have to like memorize every title of every product that I have. Um, but if you're new, welcome. I'm so happy that you decided to join me today. And for those of you who are not new, welcome back to my channel. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else right now than I'm hanging out with you guys doing makeup at 4.44 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, you got that right. 4.44 in the a.m. in the morning. But I have toddlers, so I have to get. I have. I, I don't have a choice but to get up at this time because then, then if I don't do my makeup, I leave my house. So the first thing I'm going to do to prep my eyes, I'm going to use the new Nars. What is it called? Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powder in the shade called Clip. So it looks like this, and we're also gonna. I'm also gonna be using it on on the face as well. I mean, on my um, face as well. Once I do my foundation and all that, so I got a light neutral shade. It's almost translucent, translucent, 
but I really want to see how it how it um, feels. And for that, we're going to be using my Ripper number 27 brush. It goes on nicely. Definitely goes on nicely. Just picked the this up. Um, what was it yesterday? Because I was watching a bunch of reviews on it, and I'm like, you know what? Why not give it a shot? Okay. Feels really nice. Like it's super, super soft. Well, I'm also using a very soft brush, too, but I'm sure. Okay. Put that to the side for now. I'm excited to try it on the face, though. Well, like, on with my combustion products. So now that we did that, we can put this little brush back at its home. The next shade, the first shade, well, the next shade, the first shade, I'm getting ahead of myself. The first shade that I want to go in with, I'm thinking, is, hmm, that's a good question. <laughs> I'm thinking to go in either with this shade right here, or this shade up here. I don't, I've used, an, almost, I think I've used the, pretty much every shade in here so far. Believe it or not, I haven't used this palette more than, I think like four times so far, because I have so many palettes, it's insane. It's insanity, but it's good insanity. So I'm gonna take my Rosenbend Beauty, e, I can't, I'm trying to memorize all the numbers of all these damn brushes, E29. And I think, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And what I like about this palette is that it's cool toned, but it still has the browns that you can use with warm shades or cool shades, you know. This shade is really good for if you're doing a cool toned eye look and you need a good transition shade. This is a perfect shade for that. Just a little bit more product. Okay, it's a very light shade, but that's okay because I'm going to be going right over this with the, with my next shade anyway, so I'm not worried about it. So, t 
tomorrow I'll be getting in the mail my most recent order from KylieCosmetics.com slash KylieSkin slash KylieBaby. <laughs> um, I ordered, because it's on clearance, well not in the clearance, but it's on sale, is the, surprisingly, uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street Kylie palette. I ordered the Kylie Skin um, head wrap or headband, which I need des desperately because even though I could put my hair up when I'm washing my face and doing my whole skincare routine and all that, sometimes it doesn't always uh, work as great as a skincare, you know, headband would. I'm just popping this out a little bit more. Because I want that smoky look today, so I'm going to soften it and just kind of keep blending a little bit until, until I really get that soft, smoky effect. Yeah, even though I know that's just uh, that's a leany tra uh, bleh, transi transition. There we go. can talk for a second. Did I grab a crease brush? I did not think I did. I need to grab one. Um, I thought I did. Let me find one. Um, this one, that one's too small of a crease. I forgot to grab it. Whoops, it's behind, behind my phone. That's the problem. My brush holder is holding up my cell phone right now, so quiet, you see my arm. Is this it? No, this isn't it either. Now next, because I, I thought I pulled, I, I thought I grabbed the crease brush, but I didn't, so I'm going to use my Sonya G Crease Pro. Yep, crease pro, crease pro. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, next shade I want to go in with is let's see. <clears throat> I want to use. I want to use this pink pink shade right here very light but very pretty pink in my crease so how is everyone doing what are you guys up to I know <laughs> like half the world is sleeping right now but this is the literally the only time I get to myself where there's no distractions or anything like that I am looking forward to when I'm um, doing a video and a review on the Kylie and um, Nightmare on Elm Street palette when I get it. That's a nice combo. That looks good like that. I like the color. And I just washed all my brushes yesterday with the exception of like the ones I don't really use as often. So my brushes are nice and clean. When I um, label this video, like once I get ready to upload it, I'm gonna um, write "Get Ready with Me" because it's gonna be a little bit of a long video. Just so you know, uh, if you guys, if if wherever you guys are, lip real, well, um, if it's morning or afternoon or even evening or nighttime, if you guys are getting ready to go somewhere. 
Let's get ready together. Let's do our eyes together. Let's do our face complexion products together. Let's have fun. I always make sure that you guys have fun, right? You guys know that. You guys know that. gonna bring it out a little bit even though we're gonna be um, do uh, using a different brush to to wing it out it's gonna be um, a very precise thin wing so it's gonna be very pretty that brush back now I'm gonna take my blending brush with no ad additional product and just blend this together And blend blend but I'm really excited for my palette to come tomorrow it was supposed to come yesterday and um by FedEx and then I got a notification when I went to track the package on KylieCosmetics.com and it said that um it'll be delivered no later than freaking Tuesday 31st and I'm like I was super super freaking excited and I was like what the fuck FedEx really <laughs> okay next shade what we're gonna do that we're gonna do what we're gonna grab it I'm gonna oh my god you guys I needed like another Red Bull I just chugged one to the face but I need and evidently I need more than one and the next brush <laughs> I'm gonna use is the Anastasia Beverly Hills aka ADH number 12 brow and define brush and I'm gonna go into this dark brown shade where it says Mario well it says by Mario but you guys know what I mean this shade is amazing I love this shade so much Very, very, very precise. I got this brush yesterday, actually. Just gonna build it up a little bit. I'm gonna drag it a little bit along the lash line. Grab a little bit more. I get this as precise as I possibly can. And oh, I also ordered, uh, along with the um, Nightmare on Elm Street palette, I also ordered the um, new Glow Powder Cleanser, which is an exfoliator. And it reminds me a little bit of the Milk Foliant by uh, Dermalogica. Just trying to bring it down a little bit to the lower lash line now but being that this brush is so so thin precise and small I have to keep grabbing more product like constantly but that's okay I 
I like that. I love this shade. This is one of my favorite. Well, it's my favorite matte shade in the palette. It's a shade that I'm using right now. Sorry that this video is already like super long. I have to figure out and learn how to edit videos because I don't know how the fuck to do it. I don't know, <laughs> literally, like, excuse my language, but I really want to learn how to edit videos and how to cut out parts of, you know, a video to clip them and all this shit that people do on here as, a, as us YouTube creators. But for some reason, like, I don't know if there's a special app that people use or so if if you guys can give me a small favor and if you guys if there's an app that you guys like to use to edit edit your videos if you are a uh, a YouTube creator if you can drop a link down below in the comment section that would really really help me out and I'd really appreciate that so I can you know um not make these videos like an hour long <laughs> okay now I'm going to take I'm going to go back into the same shade because I want to just to bring this I want to darken this a little bit more And we're going to do the same on the other side. This brush is so tiny, but it's so mighty at the same time. But I guess I look forward to doing reviews on both of the Kylie Cosmetics, pro well, both the Kylie Skin product that I just mentioned. And I look forward to doing a look with that Elm Street palette. And it's funny because the palette, it kind of grew on me because at first it really didn't catch my eye. I mean, it caught my eye, but it didn't. I don't know how to explain it. It, it, it. it doesn't make sense, I know. I don't make sense half the time. But my makeup always does, so that's good, right? <laughs> I'm just kind of bringing it down to the lash line a little bit. I know that, that this video is already long. I apologize, but you guys can skip ahead if you need to. I will not be mad. I'm going to go underneath just like I did on the, on the other side. And then after we finish going under here, we're going to take this Sonya G Pencil Pro and just kind of blend out the lower lash line a little bit better. But I want to darken it first a little bit. Oh, towards here.
trying to think, guys, whether I want to do a cut crease or not today. I did one yesterday. I mean, well, I, I did one on myself, but I also did, uh, my client surprisingly wanted to try it yesterday when I did her makeup so and it came out really really fucking cool so I might do that but not just yet I'm taking my time okay I'm gonna keep this brush out because we're probably going to need it but I'm gonna take my BK Beauty 207 pencil blender brush I'm just going to go on the bottom and just kind of smoke this out. I'm going to smoke this out too. Buff this out, smoke it out. I wish I knew how to like speed up like the videos and stuff because I feel so bad that all these videos are super too literal, super long guys. Like I, I really do feel bad because I don't, I've been filming since June. Of 20, 20, wait a minute, 20, 2022, and I just feel bad because, like, I know I don't have a lot of followers yet, I have about 18, but when you're new to YouTube, it could take a while, like, it, it could take years to get a shit ton of followers, but even one more follower, or one more comment, or one like, or one one more you know view really makes my day like you guys have no idea how much you guys mean to me i i really do love all of you i love spending time with you guys there's nowhere else i'd rather be all right so let's see let's see what we're gonna do next should i take off this tape now or should i leave it on i think i'm gonna leave it on just in case there's any more there's any fallout i'm gonna take the, the same shade with the same brush, the BK Beauty 207 Pencil Blender brush, and I'm just gonna kind of darken the outer corner a little bit. So I'm gonna make that V shape. If I have to pause the video, it's because either that um, my son is awake and he needs to be changed or he needs his bottle or for any other reason, just all I ask is that, you know, you understand that, you know, when you got a little guy, you sometimes have to stop during some of the most important things that you're doing. Because they come first. Kids are, kids are so amazing. And they're so smart. And they just blow me away. Like he'll be two next month. And I remember. The night he was born. Like it was yesterday already. That's really pretty. I'm really happy with how this is coming out so far. I'm going to continue that V shape. Bring it down a little bit. Don't 
that's really pretty, guys. Gonna get that V shape again. Okay, if you and like I said, if you guys want to fast forward to oh god, what did I do? Did I just fuck up this look. I really hope I didn't. <laughs> I really hope I didn't mess up this look. I, I don't think I did, but. And just make sure both sides are even. I think they are. Okay. And just put a little bit, a little bit more, just because I want it really dark in the outer corner. brush is great. I love this brush. It's not a natural hair brush, but it is very, very, very soft. Should I cut the crease, guys? You guys tell me. Maybe I'll do a half cut crease. Maybe. Maybe that's what I'll do. Instead of doing a full cut crease, maybe I'll do a half. I'm just cleaning off my brush for a second. Okay, put this back. I'm going to keep this brush out just in case we need it again. Pencil. This is the Sonya G Pencil Pro. I'm just smoking it out a little bit. Okay, you can put that back now. Okay, I'm going to take my blending brush, my Rose Ben Beauty E29, and just soften it. I'm going to use the other side of the brush to blend over here. Very nice so far. Okay, I'm going to put this brush back. Well, if I can find where it goes, or if not, I can, I can keep this one here. It's okay. Okay, I think. I want to do a half cut crease, so 
gonna put the palette down for like two seconds. I'm gonna grab my my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, which is gonna be it's in my little Mac bag on the inside. So this is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade 22B Light Beige. I'm just going to have to, I need my nicotine for a second, but you guys already know that. Okay. So I'm going to take this, but I'm not going to use the doe foot applicator to, like, actually apply it. I'm going to take my refer number two, number two brush. I'm going to just take some product from the doe foot applicator. Okay, and now we're going to cut the crease. Well... We're gonna let that sit for a second. We're gonna apply concealer to the other lid. I mean, the other lid, the other eye. You guys know what I mean. I have ADHD, damn it. And I, it sucks sometimes because I'm trying to focus and sometimes I can't. I'm going to clean off my brush. I'm going to have to wash it again later, but that's okay. Put that brush back in its home. I'm going to put away the concealer. for a minute and then I'm going to pick a shimmer or a topper rather to go over everything and I'm thinking either to use this shade right here which is like a silver or to use this really pretty like pinkish brown I think it, I'm partially colorblind for those of you who don't know yet so sometimes certain shades will throw me off. I think I want to use the silver, I think. But I'm going to use, I'm going to try to apply it with my refer number 21 brush first. And then I'm going to use my finger to intensify it.
I'm going to need plenty more. I think I'm going to use my finger in a second instead of using the brush. Because it's not... Well, this is all... These toppers are also made to be a little... What's the word? Um, it, it's called the... You know, this palette is called Ethereal Eyes for a reason. Although you can build it up as much as you want, it's still going to have a bit of a translucent effect to it. Alright, this brush, we're going to have to use my finger. So I'm just cleaning off this brush really quick. Put it back in its home. There we go, that's what I wanted. Okay. There we go, there we go. Some in the inner corner. That looks beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Go over it one more time. That looks beautiful. Perfect. Now do the other eye. That's my left finger, even though I'm a righty. I should use my finger to begin with because now that I see, it applies so much better with the finger. I mean, all my brushes are great, but sometimes, like with the shades by Natasha Denor, which I've got plenty of, she always recommends applying her shimmers or her duo chromes with a finger because it applies better to the lid. I'm going to put some on the bottom too the lower lash line. Sorry if my voice sounds like slightly raspy. I have allergies year long, not just like seasonal, unfortunately. That's going to be a sick, like when I take off the tape, I just need a little bit more. And then I'm going to put the video, go put on my liner and lashes, and then I'm going to hop back on camera and finish the eye look. And then I'm going to put it again to show you guys the final, final look. bit more towards over here. There we 
think that's even. That looks so pretty. Okay. Let's take off the tape. Well, the guards. The only thing that got messed up was right here, but I can take concealer once I do my complexion products. Okay, here we go. Perfect. I, I love how these work so great. They really do. Alright guys, I'm going to pause the video, finish up this eye look, and the one, the lashes that I'm going to be using is the Kiss Lash Couture Naked Drama Full and Fluffy Volume um, Lashes. Aren't they so beautiful? Alright, I'm going to pause the video. I'll see you guys in, well, it'll be, it'll be like a second once you hit the play button. Once I hit play again. See you guys in a few. Hey guys, so this is the complete full eye look. I used my Kylie Matte Black Gel Eyeliner on my waterline, and I used the Maybelline Falsies Mascara, and I really like how this look came out. It came out really, really nice. It's subtle, but it has a bit of a pop to it because of the cut crease. I hope that you guys like this look. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. I'm going to pause this video one, well, one last time to do my, my foundation and everything else. And I will press play when I apply the NARS um, new... I'm going to have to read the back of it because I can't memorize every single product name. Um, the soft fat advanced perfecting powder and yeah so I will see you guys very shortly hang in there I'm almost done hey guys I'm back so I finished my complexion products my bronzer my blush my blush is a little on the lighter side today and then I used the highlighter in the shade Ice Me Out. Um, the bronzer that I used by Kylie Cosmetics is in the shade called Toasty. And on camera, as always, I'm going to do... <clears throat> I got a new matte lipstick by Kylie yesterday. It's in the shade Bunny. It's such a beautiful light pink. kind of reminds me of the Coco K shade. And the lip liner that I'm going to apply first is in the shade called... Coke, okay. So we're gonna do that. Okay. Now I'm going to apply the liquid matte lipstick in the shade Bunny. And 
that pretty much sums up sums up today's video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this look i had fun creating this look and i love how this new lippy looks on me and the lip liner goes perfectly with it even though it didn't it didn't come with it like this was in, in was it one of the matte lip kits it was just it sold individually but i have plenty of kylie um lip liners that go great with this including the one i just used so this video will be uploaded within the next hour or two and i hope you guys enjoyed it i love you all so much and i'll see you guys tomorrow morning love you guys thanks for watching have a good one. Oh, and don't forget don't forget to not only subscribe but to hit that cute little notification bell so that you never miss the five or six or seven videos that i post every week see you guys tomorrow have a good one i love you guys